Yo, what's up, Tarnish? It's your boy, Albi, and we back with another video. Alright, uh, now, in today's video, we're gonna be finally saying it. What's the best starting element? Now, what's the best starting element? Now, a lot of people, a lot of people might agree to disagree, to agree, to disagree. Now, now, what's the best starting element? And for me, when I say best starting element, I'm talking about PVE wise. I'm, you know, I'm not, we're not talking about nothing PVP. We're talking about starting, you know, getting your your character to a certain level, getting him to a point where it's like, yo, bro, you know what? I'm max. I can do this. I can do that. And that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. All right. So with, with all right, let's get this, you know, started. Let's get this on the road. Oh yeah, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, and you know, like I like to say, bro, enjoy the intro. Welcome back. Damn. All right. So now a lot of y'all probably wondering, like, yo, bro, should I pick fire? Hmm. Now I'm bending. Hell no. I don't know why you would ever choose that as your first, to be honest. I understand you want to be like anti, you know, hero or something like that. You know, I don't know what you're thinking, but not in this game, buddy. Not in this game. You'll get molly by this guy, this guy, and that guy. Respectfully, of course. Now, now listen to me. A lot of people always ask me this. I've seen this question a lot. Yo, bro, what's the best you know starting element and this is going to be like you know the guide for that the best starting element and i will break it down to you ranging from subclasses to the potential of that element and then you can choose and i'll tell you what i think at the end of the day and you know i can listen to my information but before we even get to that like i said again like comment and subscribe we're on the road to 8k subscribers we need to hit it bro like i'm saying it a lot because we've been growing a lot and i want to like really hit this like it's currently 7.36 in the morning. I haven't even slept yet. After this, I'll take a nice hot bath. Probably fall asleep at 8. Wake up around like 2, 3. You know? And then we're going to go live for the whole entire day. And then the first thing I'm going to do is grab my phone and post some videos. The vid Well, these videos that I made for, um, for today. But yeah, let's get straight into it. So now we have fire, right? Fire combustion is super hard to control. So, you know, you'd have to get the hang of it, of using it. Like fire takes skill. You're not going to use fire and think that, you know, it doesn't take skill. Now, fire could beat every element on this class if you have skill. It's not brain dead. Now, if you want to use an element that, yo, you just, you know, it has auto aim, it has a lot of damage, it does, it's, it's retarded, you can just use wind. That's your element right there. Now, lava, uh, now, yeah, so yeah, lightning and combustion takes, it takes a lot of control. It takes a lot of switching from locking on to unlocking on to actually hitting these subclasses. It's not, it's not easy to hit because they're actually pretty fast. So you have to control the, the missile and lightning sometimes miss when you have it locked on. So you have to unlock on and you have to aim and snipe them with it good best of luck to you it's, and this is this is a super strong class and you can get the blue flame on top of it this is a super strong class right here but you have to have skill to use fire okay if you don't have skill do not touch fire if you just want to have fun and do dumb stuff bro wind all right so when flight you can be annoying with it projection you can literally just you know just su surveillance people I, I, me personally i got it it's when I'm doing PvP videos and I'm not the one PvPing. I can just, you know, project and then, you know, show y'all what they're doing without me getting hurt. Um, yeah, wind is broken. Every move, it has a, a tornado move, which is like cracked, bro. You know what I'm saying? Down the line that you get. You also get um, shield, which no, literally nothing to get through it. Besides somebody blocking and slowly moving towards you, and you can slowly move back away from it. But that's the only way somebody can get through your shield. Like, nothing. I'm talking about no subclass. None of that can get through a shield, bro. None of it. Um, and whirlwind, uh, well, air wheel could literally one-shot bosses. So, that's insane. This is, like, the 
for me this is the best starting class if you want to like have fun you want to be able to move fast you want to like get from point a to point b you want to fly automatically off the start like you literally get you can buy the orange staff within this under within the shop once you get the orange staff you know you can fly and now if you want to go like more of a difficult route you want to be stressed and all that stuff you can go water you know now keep this in mind water is ass without blood Straight dog water, molly whopped, trash, garbage, horrible. I'm sorry, my, my experience with water was just dope, dope. Like, you see, all these are maxed out. My experience with water, dogs. Respectfully, of course, like, is this? No, nah, that's not it. If you do it to yourself, you did it to yourself. Honestly, I think it's as bad as non as non bending. And non bending, bro, I know it's gonna be cancerous, so I haven't touched it yet. All right? Um, I know it's gonna piss me off a lot too. And now we got last but not least, lava. Lava is great for leveling up. I'm not gonna lie to you. It took me about approximately seven hours with two times like speed to fully level up. This was probably one of the fastest slots I've leveled up in this game. Fastest hands down bro like i'm talking about the speed at which i leveled up this slot was insane bro it literally took me two hours a night and like two three hours like the next day to max out this guy and start working on getting like moves and stuff but it did take me a, a um a long time to get you know stuff i also have lightning on this it just has a visual effect that's going on right now so don't worry about that but yeah, make sure I leave a like, you know, comment, subscribe, and like I said again, wind is the best starting element. And you know, if you disagree with me, you can comment it down below. And if you wanna, you know, fire is cool. I like fire. Fire is my main, if as you can see here, till this day. You know what I'm saying? Wind is cool and all, but I don't use it as my go-to. I'll use it if somebody needs me to bring them from you know point A to point B. Or if we're doing the equalizer raid, because somebody needs, you know, they need a fire, they might need a earth, they might need a water, they might need, you know, wind. And they might put out another mission like that, you know what I'm saying, where you need a certain amount of elements to do something. So, you know, so we can participate in every event and every element and literally every update. We sat there and we, uh, um, we upgraded, we leveled up all these NPCs for videos for y'all quite literally which you know i'm pushing out right now now that i have more information i'm more educated about the game we can tell you a little bit more and we can you know properly educate y'all and better understanding the game now like i said again bro it's wind and for all y'all who are ready to just take it easy bro it's my opinion bro I, I, there's no way y'all gonna say it's not wind bro now if you say it's not wind bro they're trolling they gotta be trolling so, brush your head, take care. I'll catch you in the next video. And I like to say, he goes out.